So what would you say, what is the oddest implement or material you had to use to wipe your ass with? Hmm. Or have you stuck? Have you only have you only used paper products? <laughs> I'm trying to think if there was ever a time that I had to use a leaf. I don't think. Okay, listen. Not for my ass. I think I peed outside when I was young, and tried to go with leaves, which was difficult, by the way, and risky. That's risky business because you're like, what? I don't know these plants. I'm not a Boy Scout. Like, what if I am using something toxic and I'm gonna have a rash and then I can't just scratch myself? Listen, there's. Guys can get away with it, but it's frowned upon. But can you imagine watching a girl just scratch her vagina in public? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no one would be having that. That's not allowed. I, mean, I want equal not... rights. I want to be able to scratch my balls. Yeah, I think you're allowed to scratch your crotch in public. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that support. I really do. So Sometimes as like a sleazy man that I am, or maybe it's male privilege, or I don't know what the hell this is. Sometimes like my balls will itch, and I'll just catch myself yeah. like, not even giving a shit, just itching them like out in the <laughs> the, the, the public, and I'm like, <laughs> wait, how many people wait, are just wait, standing here? Wait, itching? what? Yes. <laughs> are you reaching inside of your pants or staying outside? I'm not a fucking sick individual. <laughs> I'm doing it over the top of the clothing. <laughs> I'm just, it was an important question and I needed clarification. <laughs> no, but there's been times where I've, just, I've been like, mid, like really getting in there. It's like, oh, this is an itch. And I'm, you know, you're scratching and you're getting that relief. So for a minute, you're yeah. kind of like not in, you know, you're not self-aware and you're like, oh, that feels good. But then yeah. it kind of pops, you're like, oh shit, I'm in a public space. I'm an inch of myself for a good five to ten seconds. Some people have definitely walked by. Just, there's just a stationary guy there just scratching his balls. <laughs> but, uh, here's the thing. If a woman was doing that, I wouldn't give no never mind. I'd be like, hell yeah. man. But I feel God, like society at large would not be having that. They'd be like, that's disgusting. What, what about, the fuck? What about when you get one of them little uh, anal itches and you're, you got a little butthole oh, tickle? Oh, gosh. You gotta get that. <laughs> That's terrible. You excuse That's yourself a... to somewhere private and scratch that one out. Yeah, uh, sometimes I'll, scra- I'll just grab a cheek, kind of like. <laughs> Rub it, it against. Bit. Yeah. That, you, know, you can sit down, you, do the thing, you, maybe you sit in a chair, you just kind of <laughs> You waddle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you kind of waddle as you're trying to you rub get one out. Seated. Yeah. And you're like. <laughs> and you're like, why does my butthole itch so much? What is going on? You're just rubbing that thing. Totally. And you'll like, like when, you'll try to be subtle doing the little shimmy. So like find excuses to shift around in your seat. Like, right. oh, I need to reach for my jacket that's over here. Yeah. <laughs> like when you're in a business meeting or a social setting, like how many people do you think like are having niche buttholes and are like secretly, you know, trying to itch that thing out with no one noticing. Trying to get like, that shimmy. Like, if you're in a room of 10 people, is it just one out of 10? I Or is it more? Am I <laughs> the only the guy? Because almost every time, my butthole itches, and I got to try to... <laughs> <laughs> you're the one out of 10, always. I know. It's, 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 I, but I want to th- believe there's someone else out there in that yeah, room Yeah, I you. mean, I want to believe that, too. Science, we need answers. We want it to be one out of five. Like, I, I mean, a butthole can get itchy. I mean, it's dry out. There's not a lot of humidity. Or it just, you're, it just kind of dries up. It's a little itchy. Maybe you got an errant yeah. hair or so, rubbing on, on something the wrong way. <laughs> an errant maybe, hair. An errant, maybe you're... Uh, I'm, I'm going to start a band. <laughs> Call it errant hair. Errant hair. Errant. <laughs> um, yeah. What, I thought... We discussed that we can't play instruments. What are you gonna do in this band? Hey, 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 Chet. Wait, wait, wait. yeah. Do you want to be in my band? <laughs> yes, that's what I'm. Re- We're gonna be called Aaron's Hair. Ultimately, that's what I was angling at. I was like, one, I, I came up with the name. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I saw, I saw where it was headed. I wouldn't dream of starting a band without you. And I, and I've been like when I in my younger years, I was, I was asked to be in several bands, and I was always. I have no talent, guys. I don't know why I'm being asked to do this. They're like, well, we just think you'd be great. I'm just like, you just don't believe in yourself. I'm like, no, I honestly, I I can't play an instrument. I uh, cannot, I cannot sing. Why would you want? They're like, you just, you just do it. It'll be great. Anyways. Uh, You've got the right vibes. 
Yeah, see, they're like, you got the vibe, you still have the talent. And like, And I think the vibe can get you a lot of places. Yeah, that's what I'm banking on in life. I'm talentless. Too bad my vibes are bad, too, though. True. Sometimes, uh, yeah, bad vibes. Not used You heard it, guys. Other, True, he says. Hey, okay, so let's let's return to the original <laughs> question of what's the weirdest thing you've ever wiped your ass with. Um, besides my leaves comment for the pee, I think I've used toilet paper, and that's pretty much it. So, or sorry, Kleenex as in addition to toilet paper. Kleenex. Yeah, I meant to say Kleenex. It's pretty sorry. thin. Yeah, I've been like out of toilet paper before. Listen, I was having like a, <laughs> a, a what's the passive aggressive war with my roommate because it was her turn Ooh, uh, to buy the toilet paper. Uh, and I was yeah. like, I'm not giving in. I'm oh, not yeah. caving. So we ran out. I let it run out. And then I had to use Kleenex. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Have you ever ran out of toilet paper and the toilet paper is stored in the closet, like across the hall? Now you got to like shimmy out without rubbing <laughs> shit between your cheeks and grab that. You got to grab that fucking toilet paper. Oh, and gosh. Maybe people are over. If you like maybe you're close enough with your roommates, you can yell at them and be like, bring me toilet paper <laughs> or what? How would you do in that scenario? If you're in the bathroom out of toilet paper, can you ask your can you yell at your roommate? Paper. Um, yeah, so yeah, I totally other, could. What if there's third? What if there's third parties that you don't know um, that are there? I would maybe. Friends? I'd still probably do it, honestly. But the thing with being a woman is that it's a little bit less weird because I could have still just peed. But like you as a dude, if you ask for toilet paper, you are announcing that you just took a shit. Well, yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. I'm not, but I'm not afraid to announce I'm taking a shit. I'm, yeah. pre- I'm pretty fearless when it comes to that. But I am a little self conscious that like I would ask for toilet paper. And then someone would hand it to me and then I'd shut the door. And then I, in my head, in my mind, everyone out there would be thinking, oh, that guy's wiping his ass right now. <laughs> so you're not that self-conscious about telling everyone that you took a shit, but you are self-conscious about them knowing that you wiped afterward. Yeah. Yeah. Odd, <laughs> isn't it? Like, it yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I feel like they're like in their minds are critiquing me. They're like, oh, it's taking them so long. What does, does he not know how to wipe his ass? What's he, he doesn't have the right technique. And then maybe someone else after me goes to the bathroom and then they see the roll of toilet paper. So now they know how much paper I use. They're like, how the fuck, why the fuck, who uses that much toilet paper to wipe their ass? What's wrong with this man? And I'm just like, listen, I like to be sure. I like to be sure that thing's clean. I don't got the fucking bidet. We've discussed that before. So I got to wipe yep. this thing. That's right. Clear. Yeah. Gotta, you know, tell the... And you wipe it until the butthole runs clear. That's and then right. once it runs clear, then you're done. Yeah. And sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> you wipe it till the butthole yeah. runs clear yeah and um but anyways yeah i just get oh i just get so self-conscious that people you know they're they're just thinking like oh right across that thin door there's a man wiping his ass and it just makes me nervous i get sweaty i'm uh i get anxiety now i'm like now i'm not even wiping my own ass at 100 percent. i'm doing it even worse so now i'm like oh now they're nothing gonna judge me I've never wiped my asshole with anything weird. One time, I wiped it with like a piece of clothing, like a shirt or something. I can't remember it because oh, I had a no. shit in the woods. I didn't want to use. I didn't want to use leaves because I was like, leaves have dirt on them. So I'm yeah, gonna wipe my terrible. ass, but it's also gonna smear like dirt. Yeah. There's like, and it's gonna be real grainy, and I'm gonna have like little. And then in my head, I imagine, okay, I'm gonna wipe my ass with this leaf, but then it's gonna leave like little rocks and shit in my oh, anus, no. and then they're gonna be rubbing in my. You know what I mean? I feel like it's gonna leave it behind. <laughs> I don't know. And then I was like, well, maybe, you, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a crick down there. Maybe I go to the crick, just wait in that, just kind of wash it with the water. Um, yeah. And then I was just, just cold out. I was like, I'm not going to. And then I was like, what if my fucking, I'm washing out my butthole in this crick and then down the stream, like some people are drinking out of it. Now they're drinking my butthole. And I'm just like, I can't have that <laughs> on my mind. Now they're drinking my butthole. Oh, I just want context as to why you were shitting in the woods. Come again? <laughs> if I had a dime for every time I heard that. I, you just, I didn't hear the question. <laughs> You're like, please stop making bad jokes and just repeat the question. Thank you. What I said was, why were you shitting in the woods? Because there's nowhere else to shit. <laughs> what were you doing in the woods? I think me and some friends were just like walking down some railroad oh, tracks. you just had to shit, so you just pulled over. You never did that as a kid? Just walk down some railroad tracks no i wasn't really well first of all i was discouraged from doing anything that might even be slightly dangerous like even to this day if i drive home from my parents house they're like text us as soon as you get home let us know you made it safe like i mean there's I, just no i mean I, so i probably wouldn't have been allowed to wander down rail, railroad yeah, tracks i was real young i was way too young to be on playing on train tracks i was probably like 10 11 
Just walking down train yeah. tracks. I mean, you have nothing else to do when you're in the bush, so you just do shit like that. Right. You think maybe? Yeah, I played with my cats instead. Oh, uh, you know, there's that cool movie where those kids walk <laughs> down the tra- train tracks and then they find a dead body, so you're always kind of thinking maybe that will happen. And then, hell, in the place I grew up, yeah. it wasn't that unlikely that you could maybe find a dead body. But uh, we never did, unfortunately. Yeah. But I did shit. In the woods. I wiped my ass with the... I think I just took my shirt off. I can't remember. I wiped my ass with some sort of piece of clothing. I kind of feel like I took my underwear off. So then... Wiped my ass with my underwear and then just disposed of the underwear. So... Because I could just... I, I, yep, that's what, that was my question. Because I could free ball and it was okay. I didn't want to take my shirt off. <laughs> if I wiped my ass with my shirt... Well, my shirt Ooh. was probably really cool or cooler than my underwear. Yeah. And, uh... You know, yeah. underwear are kind of disposable. Right, yeah. No, that was a really strategic uh, way to go about it on your part. I'm proud of you. Anyways, I don't know what got, got me on that uh, line of thinking. I don't know, but it was a good thought-provoking conversation. Uh, we we spent over 10 minutes on that. I I'm to, amazed. Did, we'll just call it. This is like a cold open, because now I'll just be like, hey, you need to check us out on uh, Spotify, on iTunes. Yeah. We're on Spotify uh-huh. now. You go to Spotify. I don't know how you, you just type in Two in the Bush. Uh, I think that just takes you right to it. I don't know. You see the logo. I didn't size the, the image right, so it's like cut off. So I think you just see the bush part <laughs> and you can't read the title. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to fix that. Perfect. So if anyone has any helpful hints on that, let me know. We'd love the input. We're on iTunes, Spotify. Those are the two main. Hey, uh, but hell, you can go to YouTube. You can go to all, all that other shit. Hit up the Facebook. What are the actual addresses for this? I can't remember. Facebook.com slash two in the bush pod and the word two spelled out. Twitter, you can tweet us at two in the bush pod, also spelled out. Um, we're on Instagram. You would just search for us, find that little picture of the four eyes in the bush. And you can also email us two in the bush pod at gmail.com. This time it's the number two. I want to say, I want to say <laughs> hi to, to all of our fans in Sweden. We got like 29 downloads or some bullshit. Nine. I don't know. There's a nine in it from from yeah. Sweden. Love you guys. No fucking yeah. way. And I'm I'm. I am lit up about that. I, I have some. Hey. I have some Swedish bloodline because I I did my DNA test and it was like point something percent Swedish. So I'm with you, brother. Well, shit. They're your kin, kin and Chet, you are Swedish. Huh? Hey, listen. <laughs> Listen, Swedes at large, um, if if you are still listening at this point, I am single. Uh, feel free to give me a call. You can contribute to a little project I've been working on for the last few years of my life. What's that? Uh, fucking my way across the globe. <laughs> um, what what uh, what have you hit so far? <laughs> I want one from every country. Well, Not many. I've got three. What are they? Well, so there's Israel. Okay. <laughs> then there's Croatia. And of course, the United States. We have to count the United States. Ooh, Croatia. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. I don't know if I it? should have said that. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> no, I just like. I, I have. <laughs> uh, what's the word? I'm, uh, what's the word I'm. I've implemented. Not implemented. Oh, no, I have blank some people. Oh, no, I have outed or made obvious. Implicated. implicated implicated you've, you've Im- implicated a poor croatian man in an israeli <laughs> and you're fucking little hey you're i did not specify their sex whatever they are on your little multinational <laughs> sescapade uh <laughs> endeavor fucking yeah vaudeville show <laughs> oh hell yeah i want a banner made sexcapade what was it multinational sexcapade vaudeville show <laughs> yes <laughs> i'm getting a banner made i i think that'd be a hell of a banner that you'll attract even more nationalities with that yeah totally all right Do so all swedes to, hit me up are swedes next on your list then well, I mean, if there's 29 of them and one of them is willing to take the plunge, <laughs> literally. Listen, um... <laughs> there's no, there's no defined order that I'm going in because it's okay. already a big task. So that is, that's that's um, you know what? I'm gonna be not to sound uh, well, I'm not gonna go into that. Never mind. <laughs> no, what? Go into it. 
I mean, I'm just saying personally for me, there's some nationalities I may not be interested in. And I, I mean, are oh, you going to do it just yeah. for the experience or are there some that you'll Listen, pass on? Here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at. I think I would probably not pass on it unless I really felt like I needed to just because, you know, add them to the collection, but I, I would not like super actively pursue the option unless I was interested in it, if that makes sense. I got you. That makes total yeah. sense. It makes sense. If it lands in my lap, I'll probably take it. If I so I don't know. Every time I said that, you know, it'd probably be it'd probably be uh, classless to, to rank <laughs> these nationalities at the time being. Since <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, since it probably three. would. But now, oh, I thought you if meant you... you were gonna classify nationalities of no, your interests. No, I said. Just... No, I know. I am yeah, not. That, You're right. That would be classless. That's rude. That's rude. We don't do that on this show. We're not rude. And two, I mean, <laughs> yeah. maybe if you had a longer list, it wouldn't come off as rude because it's like, hey, you're you're one out of 50. You're going to fall somewhere in there. But then if, <laughs> if it's one out of three or one out of five, that's a, that's a short list. So, you know, yeah. there's a, I feel like the gulf is bigger between one and five. If it's a shorter list, it's like, yeah. fuck, I would have really yeah. liked to be number one. But if it's 50 guys and I'm, and I'm 18, I'm like, okay, I'm just, it's not too bad. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, you you fell pretty, yeah, it totally does. You fell pretty far in the ranks. So I'm just saying maybe once you get your numbers up, then maybe we can, we can reevaluate Then we can play this. that game. <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, I'll just, I'll, maybe I can be like, uh, I can give like a third party evaluation. You just get, you, you give me some details and I'll rank it. So oh, that, I, that would can, be interesting. Then I'll take the heat. And but we then can also, compare each other's ranks. Then we can maybe compare it. Like, I don't know what the fuck you heard, but uh, that's not, uh, that's not what I'm feeling. But, um. <laughs> that's not what I heard. I'm saying. Well, it, you know, they were all number one in their own special ways. <laughs> everyone's a winner so i mean everyone's really, a winner I'm... but then everyone's a loser in that case too true i mean well, one would have a very never mind no 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 don't do it don't do it <laughs> sure it's very tempting but um <laughs> well it was gonna yeah i'm not 100 no. percent sure what you're gonna say but we'll just go ahead and pass on it well, now I'm afraid that it's going to sound worse than it was, so I think I'm just going to no, say no. it. No, well, no, it has... no, 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 <laughs> It's better. It's better now. <laughs> now they have to, no, now it's they really have to not look, bad. Now they have, to, they have to come back to the next episode <laughs> and think maybe we'll cover it. They're going to say something about me. I know it was about me. I was the one that had <laughs> whatever. No, no, I have okay. to, I have to do it. Someone has an advantage due to the nature of a very loving and kind and nice relationship. Is, oh, okay. <laughs> whereas the others yeah, yeah, do yeah. not have that advantage. Yeah, see, that's yeah, that's much that better than what people probably had in their heads. That is. <laughs> oh, I hope none of those other ones also thought they had that relationship too, because now... Well, that's only one. I don't think that they're... Yeah, yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not, yeah. Good job. So, yeah, you know, help <laughs> help, help my cause. <laughs> If you're if you're from a country that is not any of the three that I've already conquered, uh, yeah. hit me up on our social media. <laughs> I think at least I think at least one of those countries is like a plus um, in my mind. If I was going to pick a country, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to I'm not going to say which one. I'm going to so leave listen. That, that be you, a mystery. But you guys can contact Chet and find out who you are. <laughs> Well, I mean, I just think if you what? Wait, where are the where are our three options again? Israel, yeah. Croatia, the United States. Okay, well, there's an obvious one, two, and three to that list. Not <laughs> not to what, three whatever. being the United States. No, I'm certain. a goddamn patriot. I don't know where. You... <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lay my cards out. But to me, in my mind, there's an obvious. Anyways, whatever. I'm sure you're all. You're all. You're all great. Hell, man. Uh, what else is going on in the world today? Oh, shit. Um, I don't know about today, but apparently yesterday there were some drunk birds in Minnesota. Dude, I'd seen a headline talking about, like, they, 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 there's some suspicions that there's some drunk birds out there in <laughs> Minnesota. What, what exactly is this? What, what's going on with the birds up there? So they apparently eat a certain type of berry, and these mm -hmm. berries got fermented earlier than usual in the season oh, due to an early frost, says the article. 
So those birds are eating them fermented berries and getting drunk as fuck and they're flying into shit. What else did they say they were doing? Fucking. (laughs) Fucking. Uh, They were flying like all erratically and they couldn't walk straight. Basically, they would fail the sobriety test. Yeah, you definitely shouldn't fly when you're intoxicated. Yeah, not you ever safe. Seen that movie? You ever seen that movie with Denzel? Uh, which one? Where he flies when he's intoxicated. John Q? No, but that's a pretty good one. I remember that one. You're I don't know fan. what movie you're talking about. I don't know. I think it's called Fly. Talking about Top Gun? <laughs> I like the part in Top Gun where I've never seen it. Um... <laughs> I'm not a big... Have you seen Top Gun? Uh, it's been a long ass time, but yes. But you, you... Okay, here's the thing. Here's where... Here's the thing. Tom Cruise, <laughs> right? He's in Top Gun, yeah. right? correct? Okay, he yes. made Top Gun. Don't care about it. Never seen it. Never will. He made it another movie right after that. It's called Days of Thunder. Uh-huh. He drives a race car. It's more of my style. More of a Days of Thunder guy. <laughs> You're more a driver than a flyer? I'm scared. It's going to crash. Especially that Top Gun bullshit. They're in war. They're like shooting missiles and shit. What's up with that? That's true. I'm not into that. I'm not not supporting the uh, military industrial complex. Fuck all of that bullshit. Yeah. I mean, the government gives these studios all this money to make these movies and make it seem all glamorous. Oh, look. Fucking Tom Cruise is in the fucking Air Force and he's fucking hopping around playing volleyball and bullshit, banging all kinds of hot chicks. But they don't tell you the part where you get fucking shot out of the sky and you die. Yeah. I've met a couple Air Force pilots and they are pretty cool. I mean, they kind of yeah. live up to the, the movie, yeah. And okay. I do hear, I hear they swing a lot and they bang a lot of chicks, so. Oh, hell yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Like within the, the culture of the Air Force, apparently a lot of swinging happens. That's interesting. I wonder why just the Air Force. Like, that's very... Because I think maybe specifically with the pilots, too. Because I, I think you gotta be kind of a crazy motherfucker to be a, a fighter pilot. Yeah, that's fair. You bad bitch. You get cool, those, you get to wear those cool sunglasses, those aviator sunglasses. That's oh, hell yeah. Cool. Those are timeless. Those are the dope. best sunglasses ever. And you just get them. Fuck yeah. That's standard issue. I've got me a pair. Oh, they just hand them out. I should be... We should be out. pilots. Here's the thing, man. My problem with aviators is I can never find a pair that fit my face well, so it's really hard for me. Um, I got Aww. kind of a, my face is just, I got Here's the thing. Here's the secret. I got to buy, <laughs> I got to buy female aviators. Maybe I have a small head. I don't know what it's saying, but I got to, oh. I got to get the female ones and then they fit me perfect. I found these, you know, I found some aviators that fit my face like a motherfucker. I mean, it was beautiful. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Unfortunately, they cost like $450. So I've been, you know, Jesus. debating, do I spend the $450 to get the perfect fucking aviators for me or do I not? Now, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. They're perfect. I mean, they fit. I put this shit on. It's you're seeing Tom Cruise. I mean, this shit. You're gonna think. You're gonna think this guy's in the fucking Air Force. I mean, you just are. I've, I've been thinking about it for about a year and a half now. Probably not gonna oh, yeah, get them. That is a big investment. Hey, you should start a GoFundMe. Awesome. I should right now. Our loyal listeners, all you Swedes, anyone out there, this fuck, listen. <laughs> I need get I need those, some aviators. I need I need those Maui Maui Jim Baby Beach aviators. They just, they, they fit me perfectly. I think, hey, I haven't looked at them in like a year, so there's probably been a price reduction. I, you can probably get them a little cheaper. So you guys, you know, maybe you know someone, you know a guy that can get me some on the cheap, you know, whatever. You you let me know, and uh, we'll, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes here in the bush to get me some sunglasses. Whatever it takes. So you let us as know many you hand jobs as you require. Right. Well, you're on a multinational tour. So, I mean, if it just so happens... <laughs> There's motherfuckers from Sweden or wherever. Uh, then and we know, will he... pay you with sex. Yeah. Well, not even pay. It's a. It's just a, <laughs> uh, a quid pro quo. An exchange. An exchange. I mean, I mean, I'm just saying it's a double wham. I mean, you get the sex. I get my my sunglasses. I mean, we're all I'm winning. That. We're all winning. Anyways, well, even sunglasses are cool. Yeah. It's fucking birds, man. That's fucking crazy. Getting drunk. Flying. Yeah, drunk shit. ass birds just raging. Raging. If I was a bird, if I was a bird, I'd be fucking drunk too. I'd be eating those berries. Hell yeah! The life of a bird is, it's probably pretty empty. I think. Do you think that they re- like go back to the berries on purpose since they like felt intoxicated? It, like, do you think they're like humans? They're like, oh, that was nice. I should do it again. Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> Hell yeah, they do. <laughs> I mean, the, like I said, the life of a bird. The life of a bird. I mean, you can fly, okay? Yeah. Everyone, everyone wants the ability to fly. You got that. Think about the emptiness they must fill. They've conquered the skies. 
once you conquer the sky, what yeah. else is there? You've Nothing. got a hierarchy of needs, and once you've That's why made it that far, berries. it's like, well, now what the fuck is my purpose? They're depressed. Yeah. That's why they're I wonder, the though, if being drunk would be the scary for an animal, since they don't, like, understand what's going on, they didn't do it on purpose, like, and now they're, like, they can't defend themselves as well because they're impaired. Do you think it's, like, a, like a negative experience, or do they feel good like humans feel good? I think they feel good. Yeah. I think they enjoy it. I think they're drunk. You know what? Another reason. Never mind. Fuck it. What? Um, I don't know where I was going with that. You're I lost lying it. to um, me. I am not lying. This is the truth. <laughs> um, Fine. I'm being honest. You um, screamed at me. I don't know. You've never screamed at me before. I did not scream at you. <laughs> you screamed at me. <laughs> I'm already. I'm already. <laughs> I'm already a typical man. I screamed at you and I was like, that didn't happen. You're crazy. Yep. That's I didn't head. listen, bitch. I didn't scream at you. Hey, that reminds me. We what? were talking earlier about whether or not we're going to lose the right to say the word bitch, which I think we're well, headed towards. Chet thinks we're not. Well, here, first off about, I probably did raise my voice. In fact, I know I did because I go, I didn't scream at you, but then I looked up at the waveform <laughs> going by. And <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. My mic like, got well, really are... sensitive for those two seconds. <laughs> I was like, there appears to be visual evidence that maybe I did. I'll, I'm going to go ahead and trust that. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, okay, we may or may not lose bitch. Um, <laughs> I find I use bitch a lot, but I don't use it in... Yeah, I use it in regards to women, but I also use it in regards to men. Yeah. And anyone or anything. Yeah. Like an inanimate object, I'll call a bitch. I call my car a bitch sometimes. Yeah. Um, do you do you have a know. name for your car? Bitch. <laughs> Piece of shit. Bitch. <laughs> sometimes I just yell at it. Yeah. I don't know. I have not named it. No, this car. I other cars I have given names, but this one there's not much of a sentimental attachment. So. Sure. No name. More what were your What were your other cars' names? Don't remember. Really. Uh, white car was one. Oh, <laughs> did you have a black car too? No, I wish. Yeah, I wish you had as well. I'm sure. Oh, more space. Yeah, bigger. Because they're, they're, they're black. Bigger. Huh? Come on, come on. <laughs> um, I've only, I've had a here. I can tell you the colors I've had. I've had a green car. Uh huh. I've had a white car. Uh huh. Had a blue car. Uh huh. Now I have another blue car. Damn. The white car is my favorite. The white car was a Ford Explorer. Uh -huh. um, this thing was awesome. How so? Because I had it in high school, so I did all the crazy shit in it. Oh, yeah, that is fun. You know, when you're like in high school and you don't know you can die and you just do crazy shit all the time, like your friend, I don't know, you just fucking speed around, you fucking, fucking throw bottle rockets out of your car, you <laughs> fucking ramp into the snowbank things. I don't know, you just do all kinds of crazy shit. There's nothing yeah. better than being 16 years old and being, and being given keys to a car and your parents somehow trust that you're not going to do stupid shit with it. But you're totally you gonna. Like, you like totally are like 100%. I think they have to know because at one time they were 16 and they had to have done crazy shit in a car. Yeah. Like, I don't know anyone who's never done crazy shit in a car. And if you haven't, you haven't lived. Sorry. <laughs> you haven't lived. Sucks to suck. Yeah, I mean, but I suppose that they just recognize that they have to let it happen at some point, and they survive, so they're like, well, here's the keys, True. with a little bit of a grimace. Well, see, I'm not, I'm not fucking crazy. I mean, I've done crazy shit in a car, but I'm not fucking cra crazy. Like, I know, like, there's a limit, you know, I people die, I've seen, I know people that have died in car accidents, because they didn't know the limit. They yeah. went over the limit. Yeah. Or maybe they were just unlucky, I don't know. Yeah, shit. Could be either one. That's what sucks. You could be doing could be. everything right and still die. That's the other thing. Sometimes I have that thought. Sometimes I'm driving down like a two lane and I'm like, yeah. what's what's stopping this motherfucker from just swerving into my lane? Like him having some mental breakdown yeah. or something. He just fucking takes me out. And then I, now I'm getting anxiety driving. This happens. You're driving. Everything's peaceful. And then all these cars are passing me. And you're like, this motherfucker could just have a bad day. He swerves over. Maybe it's not even intentional. Maybe he just dumbass looks down at his phone. A fucking gear runs out and he swerves his fucking tire blows up and now you're fucking dead yep because of someone else yep you can't trust no bitch this is why i don't believe in cars we need to that's why i'm a, i'm more of a bus guy or a train guy you get on the fucking subway everyone's on it together yeah, yeah maybe there's some guy jerking off two seats down 
but at least he's not swerving into your lane. Yep. Fucking 80 miles an hour and killing you. That's damn right. Which one? You can't have, you know, you can't have everything in life. <laughs> so have mass transit because you can't have that. Yeah. I mean, look, I mean, one time I walked into a car. Okay. The Sorry. The door's open. You walk in. You walk in, not a car, a train car. <laughs> oh, I was like, I thought I pictured you like physically walking and accidentally walking into a car, <laughs> like hitting, like falling over the the front of the car because you oh, walked man, right into know. it and just falling on the hood and someone's yeah, like honking at you I, like, I, get off the hood of my car, you weird fuck. Watch where you're going. I probably have done that. <laughs> um, but anyways, what else do you call that? A train car? A subway car? No, it's yeah, you're absolutely car. right. Yeah, you are. It's yeah. just we were talking about mass transit and regular cars, so I just followed you to regular cars as opposed okay, to train sorry. car. I was just going to say one time I walked into a uh, subway car. I took like two steps in. To my left, I look over and there's a guy jerking off. I mean, he doesn't have his dick out, thank God. He just got his like hands on his pants, like obviously jerking I was really looking at him, and he made eye contact, and then I just stepped, and then oh. I just took two steps right back off of the car, <gasps> and the, the door shut, and the, the, it just drove off, because I was like, oh! no communication needed to be done, <laughs> I was just like, you know, I stepped in, I had my headphones nope. on, so I was listening to music, so I was really kind of disconnected from the situation, really, as much as I could be, so I just walk in, I just see it, and in my head, it yeah. wasn't even a, uh, like, a lot of thinking, it's just like, oh, okay, and then I, I'm, yeah, I'll just step off this one. And I'll just walk home. Time I'll, to go. You know, the walk will be better. I'll get away. And then I walked. You know, I didn't wait for the next <laughs> fucking train. No, they do. They do jerk <laughs> off on public transit sometimes. Oh, my God. I, you know, he may have just, and you know what? This may have been, I may That's have misinterpreted. He may have just been scratching his balls or he, had an, or he could have had an anus Yeah, itch. sometimes people do um, that All I know is his hands are down the front of his pants. And he's real. I mean, it was a really rapid motion. So to me, it, it looked like jerking off. Anyways, yeah, who knows? Let me scratch my balls and let me jerk think off. Think about how much history's probably been impacted by jerking off. Like some important decision had to be made or something. The guy's like, like, just let me put it off for ten more minutes. I gotta go jerk off real quick. Or a guy <laughs> didn't get a jerk off and then he made some rash decision because he was all oh yeah. You know, Frustrated, all frustrated. pent up. All pent up. I mean, because he didn't get the jerk. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just the jerk. <laughs> the jerk is a bit. That's why we've had all these wars. Men just in need of sexual outlet. I feel like if they did have more jerk or sex, um, yeah, there would be a hell of a lot less war. Like, just imagine yeah. if on the battlefield everyone's like, "Hey, put your guns down. Put your cocks up." I mean. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think we would be found pretty quickly. Yeah. It would be. You're not wrong. I mean, you'd, you'd jerk off and whatever, and then you have that moment of bliss, and then you'd have that come down. And then maybe about 40 minutes later, they'd start killing each other again because uh, we're humans. But but um, instead, I, they could jerk off again. Right. But um, I'm just saying it would give us a, a little peace. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's why. Like 40 have, minutes of peace. Do you think maybe that's why we have less war now, you know? It seems like this is a very violent world we're in right now, but apparently, like, this is the least violent the world's ever been in recorded history. So, yeah, you think it's because we're, we are more open to jerking off? Maybe. I, I wanted to think it was because we just, you know, evolved to a higher moral place as humankind, but it's probably the sexual outlets, you're right. It really could be. I mean, the more you think about it, I mean... Yeah, we're less repressed. Yeah, that repression is so much. So much angst, mm -hmm. anxiety coming out of that. Angst. angst and unneeded. So and you I can't relieve your angst and anxiety because the source of your angst and anxiety is that you are sexually repressed. Exactly, one hundred percent. We're we're covering some territory here. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, that's tell like me. Saying, if after nine eleven, we should all should have just jerked off. <laughs> or maybe before nine eleven would have been a say good that time. Too. Before 9-11, we even could have jerked <laughs> off, and uh, we could have avoided uh, so much heartache, if only. Yep. Um, so many lives could have been saved. I think we're I treading would, into some bad territory. <laughs> listen, we are. I was gonna, I was gonna go down a route. <laughs> could become questionable or get upset someone. I'm just saying. Now I'm you, so curious. If you just reached out to someone and said, "Hey, you can just jerk off," <laughs> there's no reason. Yeah. 
Th and this can go There's for- There's no it. reason to kill no people. No, yeah, no reason to kill. Just, you can, you, you can, it's okay. You can jerk off. But, <laughs> people don't know. But yeah. I don't, uh, never mind. I won't go, I'm not going to dive into all that. But, I'm just saying, I, I think overall it's a healthy thing. For the world. Yeah, not, absolutely. Not even for individuals, for the world. Uh, yeah, it's a win-win. And I'm not saying, you know, I know this gets into a stereotype. Let me just cut that off. Oh, if a man <laughs> doesn't receive sexual pleasure, he's a fucking nut. I mean, Can't control that. it, it's not people, his fault. People use that as justification for uh, men doing whatever sexual things they want to do, because if they don't, then they may kill people. That's not a theory I actually believe. Those fucking monks, they're not jerking off, are they? I don't know. No, and they're peaceful as hell. Yeah. Well... So. They probably are, honestly, but whatever. You think, you think they're jerking off on the DL? I bet. I bet a lot of them are. Can you I imagine not at all? I'd be a bad yeah, monk. Yeah, fuck that. I would. I, <laughs> I'm just saying. A bad monk. I I'd be very bad. I would. I'd, be, I'd request. That's what I'd request they call me. <laughs> call me the call bad monk. Call me a bad monk. monk. Just, I use it for my... <laughs> Um, say it louder. Say it louder, please. I'm just, I'm over. I'm just meditating over here. Seriously. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, if I yeah, I if, if I'd be a really good monk if they can jerk off. I will have to look into this. Um, I could be really me and uh, what's his name? Who's not? Who's a famous piece? Gandhi. I bet he jerked off. Gandhi. Yeah. <laughs> who's that other guy? Oh. Who's that other uh, that other guy who jerks off? Jesus. Lot? Jesus. <laughs> he jerked off for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just did. I mean, whatever. It's cool. I hope so. Pee Wee Herman, he jerked off. Ooh. Uh, you know, you know Pee Wee Herman. You know who that is. Yeah, and I just don't want to have that image in my mind of him jerking off. Can you imagine his climax face? Uh, no. I mean, yeah, actually, I can. I, I'm sure he's done it. And yeah, a I character. don't like it. But that's a big controversy. He was caught jerking off and it ruined his career, his little Pee Wee Herman career. Yeah. And, um, uh, it's just Pee Wee Herman sounds like slang for dick. It is. I'm pretty sure. Pee Wee yeah. is, anyways. I went about the Herman. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Poor dude. Poor little dude. What if, dude, he, what if he had a huge dick? He could have. I don't know. I've not, I've not, I've never heard anything about his dick, so. That'd be so funny. Here's the thing. If you don't hear anything about yes. a guy's dick, very well could be big. Most, yep. most of the time, if you hear something about a guy's dick, it's because it's small. And that doesn't. Although, I don't know. You also hear if it's really big. I think it's probably average if we heard nothing about it. That's true. But I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, the only dicks I've ever heard about have, I've heard more about small dicks than big dicks. So I'm talking about from third parties telling me about dicks. Man, I would share both. I'm just, I'm putting it out there. You Maybe. bitches who are focusing on the negative, get out of that mindset. Well, I have it. You know, I've, I don't even think a, a small dick's not a negative. It's just some people are just stating like, you wouldn't believe that guy had a small dick. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. I have no reason not to believe it. I never pondered their dick <laughs> until now. But I mean, was it, you know, I mean, whatever. Um, usually it's like in conjunction with like a guy who you would expect to have a big dick, like a bigger Type oh, women. see, I thought I thought you're just referring to women complaining about the size of no, the men's. No, I've never really. You know what? I've, I have a few uh, friends that are into penises, and I've never really had one complain to me. Well, about. that's good. But maybe they. I mean, yeah, they may, good because you, know, you shouldn't. They may with other parties, but yeah, not to me. But I mean, but they yeah. have told me they've been like, yeah, that's a small dick. Maybe that yeah. enough is supposed to be a negative. In my head, I was just like, okay, whatever. It's an observation. I mean, yeah. it wasn't like, not like a micro dick, not like a, uh, <gasps> something you like, really, you'd probably have to go to a fucking therapist for. <laughs> like, you know, like a fucking nipple sized dick or whatever some of those people oh got. Oh my God. That is, a, that is real troubling. I've never heard of a person in real life that has one of those, but I know they exist. Yeah. That I have a lot of sympathy for. That sounds yeah, that would like suck. a bad situation. I hope they make a surgery. I hope they make a suck someday. Ah, for, something for you. Something for you. But now you're but, implying um, that they need to change if that's their situation. So no, I am not. I'm saying <laughs> if they are a person who has a micro penis, but they identify as like a cisgendered straight male, and they would like to use their penis and the ways that some men are, are able to. Straight males often do, yeah. As often do. And he, I can pick on straight 
cisgendered males because no one cares about them. I'm yeah. not picking on them. I'm saying I'm I'm supporting you. I'm starting a support group. <laughs> I'll be the guy. We'll be around the campfire. I'll have the, the acoustic guitar, and we'll all say it's all it's gonna be okay. I don't know how to play the guitar though, so someone else is gonna have to do that. And I'll hold it. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold it. <laughs> look very reassuring. Probably get self conscious because you're like that looks very phallic how you're holding that guitar. I'm, like, it's just so <laughs> I'm sorry. When yeah. when you hold a guitar, you kind of want to hold it in a phallic way. It's just it just comes with the <laughs> instrument. Um, hold it in a phallic maybe, way, and then maybe maybe we we pass the guitar around, and they hold it in a phallic way. It makes them feel some sense of power, or mm-hmm. I don't know where I'm going with this line of thinking. I I I'm here for it. Have though. you ever heard of uh? Have you ever heard of Winter Dick? What? Yeah, I read this article earlier. It may be full of shit. Apparently, the winter time has a major effect on dick. How so? It makes it less sensitive, makes it harder to get an erection. Uh huh. And all kinds of other things. Wow. That, did they explain why? Because of, of the. Well, they had a sex expert, so I don't think this is an actual doctor of any kind. Right. Um, a sex expert is what they Love call that. Them. She says the cold weather can cause penises to shrink. Well, I think we yeah. all know that. It can cause a decrease in erections. And it can even cause difficulty reaching orgasm. A sexpert warned, unnamed sexpert. Oh, I know, not unnamed. Her name is a- Annabelle Knight. <laughs> She's a sex relationship expert. It says, she, she says the blood vessels in the penis shut down because of the cold temperatures. And uh, men can expect their penises to shrivel up to 50% in what? length. What? And 20 to 30% in girth when the weather gets chilly. I don't really know what that means. I think that just means... Your flaccid penis will get even smaller when it's right. pulled out, which, which seems is fine. Like and like, I wouldn't thing. assume that that would translate into when you're inside of a house where it's warm. You know, like that doesn't seem like an all winter, all the time uh, thing. Maybe they're talking about people that are strictly having sex. Outside. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're out in the freezing cold, your penis will experience these changes, and it's like, well, that makes perfect sense. But it's not. They're implying in the article that it's like all throughout the entire season of winter. Whereas once you read it, it's like, oh, it's just the cold does this to my penis. Well, what about this? Did you know there's also summer penis? Go on. <laughs> uh, let me actually click. Uh, doctors have confirmed that hot weather causes the penis. Oh wait a minute, I lost it. Brought a Oh my here. god. Causes the penis to appear larger. Yeet. And why? Let me read because, this article. So because the heat makes the blood fl- blood vessels engorge. Oh yeah, you got you go, sister. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Um, with tent with temperature soaring, many people have found the weather somewhat of a struggle. Blah blah blah. But it's not all bad. Apparently, the weather is actually having one very positive effect mm-hmm. on men. Some men are claiming that the heat is giving them summer penis, <laughs> a phenomenon in which heat causes the penis to appear bigger. <laughs> um, and it is oh Reddit is the uh, <laughs> they're using. No, never go to the mirror.co.uk. <laughs> what? That's what it I is. Just, yeah, I just love that I knew it. Did you hear me say it with you? Anyways, they say uh, Reddit user Guillermo97 oh. asked others if they had experienced a bigger dick in summer and smaller in the winter. Okay, so this whole is this is all based off of a Reddit thread. This is not real science, legitimate, but I'll go with it. <laughs> he said, he says, uh, does anybody notice size fluctuation during the year? I know mine is bigger and I have better erections in the summer, but I also tend to be more of a shower instead of a grower oh. in the winter, or in the winter rather. In the winter, it's the exact contrary why is that more heat equals better blood flow uh so then apparently a bunch of people agreed with them is it a real thing here we go is this a doctor okay a urologist okay he says temperature can cause a change but it isn't a seasonal one summer or winter (laughs) i like this this is a great quote quote let me say this summer or winter your penis size should remain the same oh (laughs) i do like that thank you doctor (laughs) no no none of this is true when it's hotter outside you may take in more water which may in combination with sweating make it appear like your body skin is bloated and it may give you the perception that things are larger Uh uh-huh Here's another thought I had though like maybe these people who are saying oh it's less sensitive it's harder for me to get an erection blah 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 
Do you think that maybe they're, some of them are just seasonally effective and thus because mentally they're going through this stuff, their body responds in that way? You know what I mean? It could be, or they got frostbite on their dick. Ah. <laughs> apparently they're outside in the winter. Yeah, fucking outside dick in out. the winter. Yeah. Dicks out in the winter. You're going to get frostbite. No, don't do it. Yeah, dicks in always. Dicks in. Unless asked, dicks yep. in. Unless requested. Dicks in. Anyways, this article sucks. <laughs> I thought it would be some funny dick story. And then there's a doctor like, none of this is true. And uh, I was like, well, that was my theory. Thanks for confirming it. Yeah, thank it. you for that. What else we got? There's a goddamn time traveler. You what? This time traveler. No, what's yeah, up with he that? Yeah, he went to the year 8973. Yeah. What'd he find? Yeah. And now he's, now he's back in our time. And everyone was like, you're a liar. And he took a lie detector test and he passed it. Damn. So, what it are we going to make of that? True. Time travel. It must be true. Or I want to know what he saw. He should have a book. He said he met with telepathic robots. Oh. Um, he kind of looks, you know, I'm going to be honest, just looking at him, kind of looks like a liar. How so? What do liars look like? Uh, he's got glasses. He's got a beard. It's kind of a, a patchy beard. Uh -huh. Not a good. Like a, you know, sometimes he's, like a he's, Yeti beard. You know, if you see a guy, yes, they got them Yeti hairs, like, like our president. You know, sometimes you see a guy with a beard and you're like, like me, let me say, like I'm envious. I'm like, look at that full fucking face of hair. That is cool. Yeah. What a cool beard. And then you see other guys have beards and they're not cool beards. And you're like, why would you do that? Yeah, this is one of those. Yeah, this is one of those. Like, this is not a cool beard. It's not the worst beard, but it's a bad yeah. beard. It is not good. Also... He has a severe receding hairline, like very severe, and he should probably just shave his head. Ooh. But he's done the half-assed thing where he's like, like buzzed his hair really oh, short. No. Hoping that it would make it less it's obvious. It's like, why buzz, why buzz your hair that short? Like, I'd rather, like, if you're going to fucking rock that thing like just that. Just do it. Grow Go it out and have some fucking crazy looking hair. Yeah. Or to shave it like a normal sane person would do at this point. Yeah, take a stance. But don't do this in between shit. Yeah. You got, you buzz your hair. You have a buzz cut, but we can still see your fucking bullshit. And you got this patchy ass beard. And you're trying to tell me you're a time traveler. Yeah, fuck all that. Okay, here's the thing. If you went to the fucking future, why didn't you get a fucking hair transplant? They can't do that yet? <laughs> they probably couldn't take it back with them. Dude, yeah, why not? I guess, yeah, I don't know. If you're truly traveling through time and not just very quickly passing like going through time but you're actually traveling he went into the future and he met with robots yeah, yeah he should have been able to bring it back dude you're telling me that that's not that is the fucking first thing a bald man would do <laughs> if he went into the future oh my god He'd like how do you fix yeah, this help me this is what i've come here for <laughs> i've come and to then, the year 89 was that what it was yeah to get hair yeah and guess what if you get there and they say no you're going further into the future you're like well fuck you yeah Bye. let's try and then you're gone 99 73 and then he gets to the end of the world and i we never we never cracked yep that, one. that was that one then, remained a mystery to us that is when he kills himself probably, probably. like why bother um, I want to know... That'd be a good time travel. Ooh, yeah, it would. Nick Cage, get on that. that. Hell, and he got... But he rocks it. See, his hair's fucked up, but at least he's fucking embracing yeah, it. Yeah, he's rolling with it. Hey, I want to know how this guy thinks that he time traveled. Well, he doesn't think. He did. Yeah, sorry. I want to Fast know how he time traveled. He said he was sent by the British government to a future reality. Oh, so the Brits have got it. Um, They're playing it pretty cool. He spent six hours in the year 1870... 1873, <laughs> but said he never wanted to come back as it is a utopia where there is no crime or conflict and there are cures to every problem. There are cures to every problem. He was there for six fucking <laughs> hours and they have cures for every he problem. Didn't fix anything. He, didn't, he didn't fix his fucking patchy beard. He didn't fix his fucking hair. I mean, we're in 89, 73, and they have cures for every problem. Fucking, I, what, you probably just send some fucking robot down to the dollar store, and he comes back with some fucking hair pill or something. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? You know, you go to the dollar store, you can probably download that shit. I don't know how it yeah. works. I haven't been. <laughs> this guy's full of shit. That's how you know he's full of shit. Yep. I'm like, first question. Why are you still bald? Why are you still bald? <laughs> I don't give me some bullshit. Oh, I'm comfortable with it. No. No, buddy. 
I know you're not because you haven't committed to shaving your head yet. You That's still right. got this little fucking island up there. You're holding on it's to pathetic. Hope. And you're trying to and you're trying to do the thing where bald guys grow out a beard to compensate for not having hair on their head, <laughs> which is cool if you can grow a cool beard, but you can't. So now you're just double fucked. Yep. So I know for sure you would have fixed that if you in could've. 8973. Yep. Absolutely. If you could have. And you said they they have cures to every problem. And then he's like, well, except for one. Oh. <laughs> Can't fix That's the one they didn't <laughs> figure out. They they solved AIDS. They solved cancer. They solved world hunger. They solved crime. Did not solve baldness. I mean, I just, just it just jumps out at you when you see the picture of the guy. Really? <laughs> they have cures for everything. You didn't you fix, fix that? that shit. It's fucked up. I mean, there's a lot of work. Really looking at him, there's a lot of work he could have got done. But at the bare minimum, he could have got that fucking hair on yeah, there. Yeah, that would have been. A He's there for six sport. hours. What the fuck? Yeah, hey, you had plenty of time. Plenty of time. These robots would be on to fucking talk to me. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Fix my hair. Yeah. First thing. Yeah. What, do you Just think I want up. to learn things Fix from this. you? Uh-uh. I came here to look good so I could go back to 2018 and get some pussy. Exactly. Oh, the only thing that matters in 2018, if I didn't have it in 8973, it's probably gone. Just goner. I did forget to mention Just earlier, gone. I don't know like, why this just popped into my head, um, that the I got the I got the article about the drunk birds from our dedicated listener, Steph. So thank you for that. And if anyone else has anything here. that they'd like us to discuss, please, by all means, hit us up on the social media. Yes, no. I know we have a few listeners out there. A lot of them are from Sweden. <laughs> Some of them are from other places. Yeah. Just wherever you may be, let us know, man. You know what this is all about? This is about us and, our, and you, the listener. Yeah. We want to be talking. We want to bring up the subjects you're interested in hearing about. So you let us know anything. Listen, you want us to talk about dicks? We'll talk oh, about nice. them. You don't want us to talk about dicks? We won't talk I about them. I can't commit to that. Well, I mean, listen. <laughs> all, all trails circle back <laughs> to dick. Not just a, that's just a circle of life. <laughs> You need a dick, you need a vagina. And that's how it goes. Most of the time. You don't need, you don't, I mean, they're not required by any means, but <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they, they are. are. What else? All um, trails lead back to dick. But you let us know. All trails. They do. Yeah, eventually. I would agree. Like, through yeah. history. What the fuck? What was it? Um, oh no, there's some noise. There's a noise. I was concerned. I have for a this moment. weird desire to eat, like, French toast. Or tacos. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds good. I would like to do both, to be but honest. But it's not a good combination. No, they don't no, mix but well. I but I want them both. You know what? For me, right now, mm. I'm leaning towards the yeah. French toast. To be honest. God, I would fuck um, up some French toast right now. I don't talk- Okay, like if you did get a taco, yes. would, would you make it at home? Are you going somewhere to get it versus taco? Listen, from? I am going somewhere to get it. Okay, for some, I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like a lot of things can be done really well made at home, but tacos are just not one of them. Uh, really? I make tacos all like, the time. Like, no matter what I do, I just feel like the taco I make is nothing compared to a taco I can get anywhere else. Like where? Like, like either like a what's my like competition? A good Mexican restaurant, like a good taco, or even like a shitty Taco John's taco is better than my shitty home taco. No, I can at least, I can at least beat Taco John's, although Taco John's is awesome. And yeah, I love it's it. so good. Oh. I haven't ate there in a while. Last time I ate there, there was a hair in my burrito. Oh, I think you might have been there. Um, <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> kept eating it because I was hungry. Oh, I was at your house or your apartment. Oh, I think I do remember, actually. We were recording an episode. Because I think this. I was like... We were doing something. Yeah, we were probably know. doing this. I think I advised you that I would also eat it and I wouldn't judge you. It was okay. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a pubic hair. And even if it was, the ladies had the, the fucking drive through one. They were they're pretty cool. Yeah. So I didn't yeah, have a problem fine. with it. Not the first time I've had pubic hair in my mouth. <laughs> you know, there's nothing worse than getting hair stuck in the back of your throat. You know when you got that hair stuck so in there? Terrible. It's like stuck forever and you're you're drinking water. You're drinking water all day trying to get that thing down. You're looking in the yeah, mirror and you're like, where t- is it? Grab you can't it out. Find it. You're trying and your gag reflux can't take it. You're like, <laughs> you're like hacking up a hairball. Trying to get that yeah. thing up. Trying to hack that up for hours. So you're getting a mouthwash. You're getting everything. You're like, okay, maybe I fucking drink some fu- anything to p- either pull that thing down or pull it up. It's gotta you're, go somewhere. You're drinking gravy. You're like, maybe that will grab Sorry? it. Sorry, did you just say you're drinking gravy? It just gravy? stays there. That's a technique I <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> no. But I thought, here's my rationale. Like, the gravy's a real kind of gelatinous, kind yeah. of thick. 
substance. I thought it would kind of grab yeah, take it down. The, the hair and just pull it down. But the hair was like... I think my like, next thought... It was there forever. I don't know what kind of... My yeah. next thought if the gravy didn't work would be just like a fuck ton of water. Like a really massive wave. Because so I'm like, you can't just casually sip it and expect that to wash it down. But if I like chug Dude, no. some water... I'd like end up waterboarding myself. I was chugging. <laughs> That's basically I it was going to be my request. I just didn't have anyone to do it. But I was like gargling. You've never had the an hair. No, stuff I have, like this but I don't remember throat? how I resolved it. But I bet I just damn near drowned myself with water, like pouring yeah. it down my throat. Yeah, it usually, just goes away after. I was gargling. I'm fucking the gravy. What else did I do? Gargle gravy. I Man, you had a real situation. Uh, cottage cheese. Well, it's just annoying me. I could, little well, things yeah, like that. Yeah, but like I've never know, struggled that hard with like resolving it. I don't know. I just fucker didn't sucks. want to go. He's holding that on sucks. tight, holding on for dear life. I don't know, and I don't know what kind of. I don't know what kind of hair this was. <laughs> could have been yeah. my hair. Could have been a random person's hair. Could have been a pubic hair. My pubic hair. <laughs> someone else's pubic hair. <laughs> I have no idea the origin yeah. of the hair, so I can't lay the blame on anyone. I mean, very well could have could have been a pubic hair. I mean, I have no reason to believe it wasn't, <laughs> but I have no reason to right. believe it was. I'm just saying I uh, I could have very well been in the vicinity of pubic hair at some point <laughs> within a relative, <laughs> relatively, you know, relative to when this happened. But I, I, I believe it was not a pubic hair, but nonetheless, <sighs> it was a yeah. hair. And I was just, you, fucking man, they need a special tool. Like I should have went yeah. to the doctor. What does the doctor say, you think, if you go to the doctor and you're like, got a hair in my throat, maybe pubic, don't know. <laughs> That doesn't really matter. I just I want I really, it removed. I'd like to have it removed. <laughs> is that is that possible? What do you think they I do? Mean, Does he go yeah, in there or some like tweezers or those, tell you to drink water? Tongue depressors, maybe, and just like scrape it off. Oh well, yeah, shit! That would have been my next move. I would have been going to the fucking pharmacist and be like, "Give me some of the tongue depressors." I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking start. I'm just gonna go at it. Fucking rubbing this up I'm and down go my at throat it on this bad bitch. Maybe I'll tape some fucking sandpaper to it. Maybe I'll <gasps> grab it. I mean, what could you do? Maybe, oh, you could go to a vending machine. You know how they got those little sticky yes, hand things? Yes, throw one of those back there. Sticky. Stick that. Throw that down my throat. Try to grab that hair out. God damn, man. You get my thought fucking, uh, was putty. Um, contact like Elon Musk or someone important and have, you, you know, but engineer. listen, you have need... a particular product engineered and it is this. A tiny, tiny lint roller on a really long stick. <laughs> oh shit! That could that could get it done. I was so close to sticking my fucking, fucking uh, what the hell do you call that? Your fucking suck, your little <laughs> sucking suction hose on. Your fucking suck, your little <laughs> suction hose. Chat's over here with the vacuum hose in his mouth. <laughs> I'm glad you know what I meant <laughs> by suction hose, <laughs> that vacuum hose. <laughs> maybe you got that, or maybe I drive on down to fucking Casey's and I, because they got the free air, <laughs> just thing, free air thing out. for your car tire. I mean, I start shooting that down my throat. Grab somebody's oh blow dryer. Um, you can try that route. Yeah. Oh, ugh. ugh that's nasty. <laughs> you get more Think hairs in there. <laughs> try that someday. <laughs> blow dryer. <laughs> This try yeah, you're gonna have fucking burnt hair in the back of your Tomorrow throat. morning Tomorrow That's morning I'm gonna get yeah, up and I'm gonna be blow drying my hair after I shower and I'm gonna have the overwhelming urge to blow dry into my mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna smell fucking nasty and it doesn't matter if you have bad breath or anything, just to fucking fucking drying of your saliva. If you do have an errant hair in errant. the back of your throat. Oh my god. Errant. I'll let you know if I decide oh to try it. Oh my god. <laughs> do not. I mean, if you do it, here's the thing. If you do it, you have to send me a picture. <laughs> okay. And I won't share it with anyone else because I simply won't believe you. <laughs> but if I have photographic evidence, I know you're a, a person of their word. Okay. Sounds um, good. Plus, I, I'm imagining it's going to be really like it's going to blow, like the cheeks are going to blow open and everything. But I just have that much. <laughs> It probably doesn't have that much power. I don't know. It so. might. I'll let, I'll, I think I'm going to do it. But now I just want to know. You got a high-end blow dryer? You got a cheap Um, blow. It's decent. What, it's medium. It? But it has a little attachment on the end that kind of concentrates the air. So that might really add to the effect. You got to use that. Yeah. You got to totally. use that. 
I have a cheap one. I, I don't know if I told the story the one day where I was blow drying my hair and the power went out. No. And then I went to work and then I came home and my blow dryer <gasps> had been on for eight hours in my bedroom. <laughs> oh so my the power came back God. on. Oh no. It just had my fucking, my bedroom was like a fucking sauna. <laughs> But that hair dryer was that hair dryer was fucking perfect. Not even hot. I was like, I cut. I was like, oh my god! I ran over. You know, unplugged it real quick. I was like, oh shit! That could have broke yeah. this place down. I touched it. It was fine. Interesting. It was hot. My my dumbass roommate came out of his room that was next to mine. And was like, you you seem like your room was really hot. There's a lot of heat coming out of there. And I was like, and you didn't yeah, hear the blow dryer stairs. and do anything about mm-hmm. it. Yeah. He's a fucking idiot. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, the blow dryer was on for like, you know, six, seven, eight hours. Jesus. You know, I was blow drying my hair. You know, innocent. You know, I probably should have unplugged it. But, you know, I'm in the middle of blow drying my hair and the power went out. So you walked and, away. Uh, I didn't think. Walked away. Didn't think about it. Came home. Come up the stairs. I started. <laughs> I hear the sound. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. I was, like, I was like, maybe my roommate has a dildy or something. I don't know what he's doing in his oh, room. Oh, my God. Sick stuff. That was probably um, it, yeah. I like one of those. He seems like one of those guys, one of them peggers. Oh, um, sorry, what's a pegger? I don't know. I believe that's when I believe that's when you get fucked up the ass by your girlfriend when she has a dildo. Wow. Um, if I'm to believe anything that's on Pornhub, um, some of those titles Which, are misleading. I don't know. I think, I'm not looking I think up. they've got some good. Um, uh, they're credible. Here's Credibility. the thing. Yeah. I, I mean, now that I have anything wrong with Peggy, you know, I don't, it's not my thing. And now that I have any problems with like watching Peggy videos, I mean, I don't watch them, but if you do, that's cool. Yeah. It just so happens. Like, let's say you're on Pornhub or whatever your, your method is. And yeah. you got like, maybe you got a certain couple you like to watch. Yeah. You know, and they're, you're like, you know, you got a real good connection with them. Yeah, like what totally. They do. And then maybe <laughs> interspersed in there, they have a couple. They have a couple of video pegging videos. And you're like, what oh, is that? I'm pegging. Yeah. Oh, I've heard that. You watch it. And you're like, oh, okay, cool. Anyways, <laughs> that's how I discovered what pegging. <laughs> nice. Right on. Um, yeah. So sometimes, anyways, my blow dryer was on for like eight hours. Yeah, that's that gives me so story. much anxiety. Dude, it, I could not believe. I, I wanted to like write a letter of congratulations to this hair manufacturer. manufacturer. I'm like, like this thing, uh, like fucking poor people need this. You need to advertise this as a as a heater. heating method, this thing yeah, is space heater. Hidden method. I don't know, like energy efficiency, how it works, but um, fucking wasn't even hot to the touch. I picked it up, not even hot. Yeah. My room was fucking hot, but it wasn't hot. Yeah, it um, was fine. Yeah, you, wow, you lucked out on yeah, that. The, the carpet was a little hot. Um, yeah, totally. But the actual... Yeah, I really did luck out on that one. That was a close call. That <laughs> one, I was really like, holy shit. That thing was on. And my, I mean, my room, I didn't have a thermometer to record the temperature, but my room was fucking... Hot. I couldn't be up there for a few hours. I was like, this shit's crazy. That's awesome. Well, what else, dude? You got anything else you want to cover? <laughs> oh, I'm trying to keep it. No, I've had a pretty dark week, um, so I've been trying to find something positive to talk about. So I've been going with the old standby dicks. Um, yeah. Well, I think it's been great, honestly. Well, hey, thanks. Yeah, love it. Um, oh no, I'm. You know what? I'm. I'm about three cores in here right now. Drinking the old cores. Uh, golden. Yes. Don't like it at all. It's pretty oh. gross. Uh, <laughs> Will not do again. So if any, if anyone's a core likes cores out there, uh, I don't know why. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck your sick problem is, but. I, don't know what the fuck I mean, I bought them like three weeks ago in honor of Burt Reynolds dying, and uh, then I was like, fuck, I don't actually want to drink those, and they were sitting in my fridge. I was and like, well, you had to do it. I had to do it, and I'm like, yeah, they're not that. They're not terrible. Just but, not uh, great. I don't get how why you would drink this on the regular. Yeah, like why this would be your choice. I don't know anyone who drinks Coors. Do you? Um, no, I don't think so. Like you just been with someone at a bar and there's like all oh, the Coors. What would you think? What would be your judgment call on someone? I mean, I don't see it as very different than like Bud or anything else. But it would be just a little bit like oh, like that's I don't hear that a lot. What about uh Keystone? Fuck, I don't know. Keystone. What about that? Keystone. I would Cox. judge that. You would judge that one. Yeah, I'm like you're coming to a bar and you're getting Keystone. Like if you're gonna get a cheap beer, 
Just do Bud Light or Coors Light or even like PBR. I'm that's my dirt cheap beer of choice. Like I can deal with that, but like Keystone. I mean, I I mean if yeah, if I'm gonna go cheap, usually you're you're gonna grab the PBR. Yeah. Because one, it usually it usually is the cheapest, so that is default. And I like the look of the can. I like their colors. Yeah, same. Good, and I do think it's marketing. less bad than Keystone. I do. I have no. I don't. I can't. I don't believe I've ever had Keystone. I think I had like one. It was not good. Oh, I did. I had one really recently, actually. It was not good. I don't know what I'm saying. I never had it. But what about, like, uh, you ever had Rolling Rock? Oh, my God. No, but it's on my list. <laughs> what is that? It's on your list? Yeah, I feel like I need to. I <laughs> um, remember that, like, really bad date that I told you about that one time where the guy, like, talked about his divorce and we couldn't order food and I finally was just like, oh, no, I'm going to leave. Um, when I, when I first met that guy, it was at a bar and I believe he was drinking Rolling Rock, if I'm not mistaken. Now I know the kind of guy that drinks Rolling Rock. Yep. (laughs) Recently divorced. Is that what he was? Yeah. Recently divorced. And like super hipster. Hipster. Yeah, he did. Super hipster. Like he He has has long, long curly hair. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty, but he was also <laughs> really strange. Yeah. Well, anyone who's... Uh, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say anyone who's been married has it's... to be weird. To be fucked I, up. I thought you were going to say anyone who's drank Rolling Rock is fucked up. That too. You, well, <laughs> only marriage can drive you to that. Or having a kid. Touche. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. Whatever. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I've never seen a real life motherfucker drink Rolling Rock. I don't know what that'd look like. Yeah, it was it was out there. It was different, but it did. I mean, I think it did capture my interest. So you think he like requested it, or you think no, he requested special, it. What... He requested it. Ooh. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm not a beer snob by any means. In fact, I don't like a lot of the good beers, fucking IPAs, or any of that fucking fancy fucking micro brew bullshit. Bullshit. Um, I mean, I do like some of it. Yeah, but I draw yeah, the I, line. Also, at Rolling Rock. Yeah. What about what's uh what's another one? What about a Michelob? That's fine. What the fuck is that? Never had it. It's like the You're not a big beer drinker. Yeah, it's fine. I feel like it's a step above like Bud Light and Bush Light and stuff like that. Coors. 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 I uh, what the hell do I drink? Dos Equis. Like Dos Equis. Because it's Mexican and it just it, it just seems cool. Like you're in the fucking desert. Hell yeah. You're in some fucking you're in some border town. <laughs> some shady shit's happening all around. You know, everyone's kind of like fucking, you know, how the border towns are. Is that what you experience sketch. every time you drink a Dos Equis? Well, this is what's going through my head. Like, I like at it. some point, like maybe not like consciously, but subconscious, it's in there. It's playing. You know, you're like in a. Bo- Here's the thing: you're in a border town. Maybe you're at some shitty, you know, rundown bar. They got some fucking shit tacos. You're eating those. That and, sounds you know, awesome. And you know, maybe there's some cute fucking senorita. Yeah. Some cute little fucking. You're hanging out with your amigos. <laughs> and there's you know this cute little cute little senorita waitress and you're um you know i don't know it's just there's all that there's all that you, you can play into it um with rolling rock i don't get that yeah i don't know what i get with that i'm not feeling it yeah but i like no sackies it's a good lighter it's light light crisp refreshing little beer you can eat a fucking taco and you eat it and you feel and you drink that and you feel all right you're like fuck i feel like i'm in Me- i feel like i'm in mexico right now i wish now. i was eating a taco crazy. in mexico right now Oh, yeah, yeah, I want so you're one. About tacos. As soon as we're done here, I'm gonna if you eat had... some fucking food. I don't have tacos though, so I can't do that. I ate um <laughs> some food earlier. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, cut out. What? I went nowhere. I was like, I ate nothing interesting. What did you so say? Let me not talk about that. But nothing. <laughs> but now I want to know. It was not even interesting. It was the opposite of that. I said I, I did not eat anything of any interest. I love it. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> That's right. I was like, I was going to talk about what I ate. And then I was like, no one wants to hear that. What the fuck Fair are you enough. doing? Shut the fuck up. We were not prepared for this. It's yeah. like three days We early. did our best, though. Dude, what are you 
You're going. You're having a uh, bachelorette party. You're going. You're going. You're attending a bachelorette yes, party. Yes. Yeah. So happening? I tomorrow I work and then of I go straight point? to that party and then I work again and that's my weekend. What are you doing for the party though? So like, during the, the day they're going to Oktoberfest. It'll be super cool. But I'm working during that time, so I won't be there. And then we're gonna do like dinner, oh, little okay. little games, and then we're gonna go okay. out downtown. Ooh. Yeah. What are the bros oh, up cool. to? From what I understand, we're going to uh, yes get dinner. Uh, then we're going to go throw some axes at the Dope axe as hell bar. Um, I guess that's cool now is to throw axes yeah. at bar. And I'm down for it. I mean, fuck. I don't like... I mean, I suck at pool and I suck at <laughs> so dark. I'll throw some so axes. I suck at this too. So what is this? this another game, <laughs> another bar game. It's another bar game I can... Or maybe I'll be very talented at it. Maybe I'm being too pessimistic That'd be about cool. this. Maybe I'll be fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, would it? Like, I could be like, yeah, I'm, I'm friends with this guy okay. who's an excellent cool. axe thrower. He, he would not believe it. He he did not have any self-belief in himself, and he just went down to this bar, and it was just, he just a, fucks an, it an up. Errant talent. He also has errant <laughs> hairs, but... Errant hairs <laughs> and inherent talent. Um, errant... So we're gonna throw that, and then we're gonna play. I've been told we're gonna play some board oh, games. Oh hell yeah! Fuck shit right up. So sounds fucking well, crazy, I hope right? That you all have the time um, of your lives. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I think I think a time will be had. <laughs> have the time of your <laughs> life. I will have a time. <laughs> I know. I'm saying a time, a time of like a time, the time of my life. I just feel like Jesus Christ. It's not even my bachelor party. Why is it my time? It should be. It's not the time of my well, life. I mean, but if it can be the time of both your lives, cool. But then we should be the ones getting married. Probably, yeah. I'm not. Listen, I have all. Listen, I have always been team you two, (laughs) but y'all made other choices, and here we are. I'm just saying, if we if we're sharing the time of our life on this night, then what what do it every night for the rest of your lives? Yeah, what is going on? See, so now I got to rein it back. Because what if I bring something to the table? (laughs) And it's like, oh my god, <laughs> I've had the time of my life. Now what am I? What am I? What am I doing? My, I have to call you know off I mean? this wedding. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, and now I've ruined it. And I was like, I'm sorry. We just went through the axes. It was going great. Uh, we had some beer. Better now than later, though. You know, I say you got to get that shit over with. Right. Wait, I didn't. You cut out. <laughs> <laughs> no, you were good. Just keep faking it. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Right, absolutely, one hundred percent. Not say you know we got strike. Why the iron is hot, as they say. Yes. And um, there'll be some hot oh, iron. God, I'm done with you. Lower it. God damn, I could barely get it out. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Um, don't do it, man. Don't do it. It's like, eh, you know. I'm what? gonna just do it. Gonna. Um, sometimes you just got to throw it all out there and just see what happens. Totally. See what sticks. Yeah. Yeah, see what sticks. Yeah, say. totally. Um, but hell, we're going to throw some fucking axes. We're going to drink some beer. We're going to eat some fucking food. Um, play some fucking board games. I'm all for it. Drink. Love drinking. Love drink. drink. We all bring we all bring bring this cores with me. Try to make someone else drink it. There you it. go. Like, look at this cores, man. It's in the fucking stubby bottle. It's in the 1936 stubby the bottle. The stubby this bottle. This cool. That's what it says. Nineteen thirty-six. Oh, it stubby says bottle. stubby on it. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, I didn't make that up. It's the. Uh, it's brewed with one hundred percent Rocky Mountain water. Oh, how about that? Is that what Coors is about? Is like, oh, this is mountain water. I I've never known. I never know. Yeah, I don't know about that. You think that? You think that'd be a fucking Rolling Rock? What's their bullshit? Yeah, yeah. What are they on about then? I don't know. That's a bullshit. They're from. Rolling Rocks from fucking Pennsylvania. What? I've never had any interest in Pennsylvania. <laughs> and I'm, I apologize if there's any listeners from Pennsylvania. It's just one of those do-nothing states, in my opinion. Now, I, listen, I know it has some historical relevancy to this country, but, but I don't, to I don't me, care. I'm not having it. No interest. No interest. Have you? Have you ever once in your life just thought about, hey, what about Pennsylvania? Um, no. No, I can say I've not. Exactly. Exactly, but I'm sure you've thought about other places. Oh yeah, tons all the time. Yeah, all the time. Who would ever just sit around and think about? It's like sitting around and thinking about the bush. Yeah, well, no one. That's not even on the radar. No one even knows what that is. Yeah, they're they like, oh, is place that where the potatoes time. come from? 
Yeah, that's potatoes, or that's some fucking Buckeye bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, but um, it's all the same. It's all the same. So, I mean, I get, yeah, Pennsylvania is at least on the map. Yeah. I get yeah. that. But, um, I mean, you never just sit there and think no. of it. It seems like a lame, like, what's your, what the fuck? What's the deal? Philadelphia? Is that the big one? Uh, Philadelphia? Yeah. Like, why would you ever, who would ever want to go there? Philly? Yeah. It's like, why not just go to New I'm York? I'm like, yeah, that was cool it's in 1776, in but we're over it now. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm just saying, when you think about it, oh, I want to go to a fucking big city and it gets cold. I go to, you just go to New York. Yeah, that's fair. Why would you go to Philly? Or you go to Boston? Yeah. What about Boston? They got the fucking accents. They're all fucking assholes. Will apparently. you do a Boston accent for um, me? No, I can't. You know, because you know I can't do one. So it's just That's why it me. would be so great. You do. Let's hear yours. You go first. No. Do it. I asked you. You do it? I'm, I'm willing to do this. But I'm, but I am insecure. And I, as a friend, I would think you would Get the do fucking this dog out of the car. Car. <laughs> car. 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 You want some Starbucks? Get out of car. <laughs> Starbucks. Jimmy. I'm just going to mimic Give me what a you coffee. Say. Coffee. Qua- <laughs> coffee? Is yeah, coffee. Co- coffee. Coffee. I can't do it. Man, I am, I am bullshit at accents. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I know. I loved something. getting to experience coffee. that. Mine wasn't great, but yours yeah. was just in a, a whole different realm. Get the car. <laughs> Jimmy, get the Jimmy, car. Jimmy, get in the car. I got some. <laughs> get the car. <laughs> They're like these. They're like fuck you, motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm admitting I don't know how to do this. I don't know anyone, but I'm just saying, get the cop. Fuck it. I can't. <laughs> fuck this shit. 